YouTube family. So, I just got off work. Um, thankfully, like as y'all can see, it's still daylight outside. And I don't have to work tomorrow. I have a day off. Like, I don't know who I need to talk to at my job, but like this whole split days off kind of thing, is it's, it's annoying. Like, last week, they split the weekend for me. So like I had Thursday off, worked Friday, had off Saturday. I hate that. <laughs> like if I'm all right, don't get me in the mood of being off and then snatch it away and make me work and then have me be off the next day. And they did it again this weekend too. Like tomorrow is Friday. I have Friday off, work Saturday, have Sunday off. Which is type annoying because I don't know Thomas was talking about wanting to go somewhere and do something but like we really can't stay out and make a whole weekend of it you know for our Fort Carson adventure series we can't make a full weekend of it because I still have to come back on Saturday to work and that unless we like go out for the weekend to stay and then I'm the only person who drives back to work and then goes like, that's just too much. No. Oh, Lord. That would just be way too much. But it's time to go home now. And I'm so excited. Like, today wasn't that bad, but still, I'm ready to go home. When it rains, it pours. Like, <laughs> just step foot in the house and I guess Tom slept it out on the table for me to see like surprise but the boys got like a little um, letter from school I guess to notify the parents he said they also sent the parents an email but I haven't checked my email so but apparently Christmas break is starting and the kids don't go back until January 18th like what because they're also tacking on like a week of teacher with conferences i don't know what you call it but you know the things that people teachers do where they like get retrained on how to do their job and like teach them stuff they're doing that so they don't go back until the 18th but meanwhile my work schedule is not going to stop thomas's work schedule for damn sure doesn't stop so what are we supposed to do with these kids? That's what I would like to know. Oh, goodness. And then we're going to have to, like, see what they're... The only thing that I can think of is we're going to have to see what the on-post daycares or recreation centers or whatnot, what their schedule is like, what they talking about, because there's not, like, the sounds was saying, like, we'll just do it like we've been doing it, just doing split shifts. He handles, I handle the boys in the morning, he'll handle the boys in the afternoon, but some days I go into work at 10, he's still at work. Or I go into work at 11, he's still at work. Like, only the days where I go in at 2.30, would this be feasible at all? Like, oh, goodness. Yo, what are we going to do in the summertime, y'all? What do people, parents, in the, in the chat, please help me. What do y'all do with y'all kids in the summer? Like, <laughs> when you both still got to work and they don't have school, like, what do you do with your kids? Because I need to figure out what I'm going to do with these kids. Oh, I, I'm not even going to think about it right now. I just, the freaking 18th, oh, then I'm about to make myself something to eat because I'm kind of hungry. I'm tempted. Like, do I want to make the fish? Like, heat up the salmon that I made yesterday. 
with you guys and then do it with like some cauliflower rice and some broccoli or do I want to use my low carb tortillas and make a quesadilla because I did make some like um, chicken the other day before the salmon and I still have some of it left over so I guess I should do a quesadilla because I don't want the chicken to go bad Damn, the 18th though. quesadilla but that was the only uh, low carb tortilla shell that I had so I just had to get real inventive and MacGyverish up in here so as you guys saw I just took some cheese laid it out on top of some parchment paper on top of a cookie sheet put it in the oven at 300 until the cheese got melty I didn't but not like dark brown and burnt and whatnot don't leave it in that long but just for a couple minutes until it got melty and then I took the same chicken that I used for the quesadilla before just laid that on top of the cheese put it back in the oven for like two three more minutes so that the chicken can get warm and for the cheese to just brown up just a little bit just a little bit and then took it out of the oven let it cool down for a second but only like a hot second because you don't want it to get too hard and then i rolled it up like a burrito so bam that's what we have right now is a burrito with a cheese tortilla but yeah it looks really good it smells really good either way i'm still gonna eat it whether it is or it isn't but i mean how can you go wrong with chicken and cheese but in other news, more presents came today. See if I can show them to you guys. Okay, I told y'all I got the boys some games. Spider-Man, Power Rangers, Spyro, and Lego Jurassic World. I told y'all, kept it real child appropriate. But now I have to find a place to hide these. And I don't know, maybe tomorrow? We'll wrap some gifts while nobody's going to be home. But yeah, they showed up right on time. Now I'm just waiting on H&M's raggedy butt. Okay, guys. So dinner's done. Kids have gone upstairs about their business. I'm stealing one of Big Thomas's cookies. At his job, they had like a week-long secret Santa Christmas exchange type thing so his person gave him cookies for his little gift for today but it's a chocolate chip cookie but they put sprinkles on top of it teach their own I guess it's still good but okay please make sure you like comment share subscribe
And I will see y'all in the next one. Can I take you there?